the dock. Look at that beauty. Needs all new interior. They're gonna do all new vinyl. Got a new top already coming. Got a new dash coming, that's already ordered. New dash bezels, all new instruments. It's gonna be a completely different boat. The only thing I don't have organized is fixing that damage right there, but otherwise this thing is going to be dialed. What an awesome boat. That motor is an absolute monster. Love it. So smooth. Check it out. Thing is stripped. Got all of the upholstery removed. Completely. And it is off to the upholstery shop to be recovered with all custom diamond stitch gonna be so nice and we've got a new t-top he did that this morning nice and tight it's not fabric it's like a synthetic material so really nice the new dash will be here tomorrow and it'll have all new equipment so new VHF new stereo these buttons are gonna be eliminated and updated this will stay that is just a filler. There's actually nothing there, and these will stay. Might have blown the budget already. It's a little sketchy up here. There's two of these to install for the new VHF antenna and the new radio antenna. One's right here, and then the other one is going right there. As well, I'll be installing this, which is for the new anchor light. See that white wire up there? Yep. Pull on that. Okay. New VHF wires in. 
And now we're gonna do this side. It's probably gonna be a little harder. Oh, it's at the end here. You want it all with you? Yeah. Oh. Wait. You just pulled it out. Oh. I told you. We didn't tape it yet? Fuck. Well, believe it or not, it's been an entire day. Took a lot longer than I thought it would. Took a few breaks, but there they are. And today, I have a little bit of bad news. It's not a big deal. I kind of knew it was already gonna be like this, but I've been putting it off, and today I decided to check it, and what I found was not good, so let me show you. That right there is obviously contaminating the earth, and also not what oil is supposed to look like. So, there is water in the lower unit. Um, I pulled the bottom plug and just checked it real quick and water came out as well as that. Really terrible looking oil. So, I'm gonna have to drop this lower unit. screwdriver through this brand new speaker and that's what I get for trying to film myself screwing in the goddamn screws and this is why I freaking worked on the boat without filming because now I just cost myself a hundred bucks because I gotta replace that speaker so that's great so continuing on what a pain in the ass god damn it's been a few days now. The boat is 100% finished. The interior's in, the dash is done, all the switches are working, everything is finished. I've had this thing out a ton of times. It's an absolute blast. The 350 is a freaking monster on the water. This thing flies. I would actually love to keep this boat, but the whole point of this was to buy this boat, show you guys if you're you know, mechanically inclined or at least want to learn how to be mechanically inclined, you can do this for a living. I'll run through all the numbers with you, but the profit's pretty decent. If you go through all the hours I put into this boat, you know, if, if I were to just off the top of my head, come up with a number, I've probably only got maybe 60 hours of my time into this boat. So not an astronomical amount of time that I've had to dedicate to get this boat back on the water and looking absolutely immaculate so yeah it's a beautiful boat just standing here looking at it it's like 
just a shame that I, I'm selling it, to be honest. But so I'm actually going to be delivering this boat to Pennsylvania in person and uh, handing it over to the new buyer. I've still got a few things I got to do before I can do that, like change both the axles because they are absolutely rotted, like you saw in the first video. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to change out both these axles. I'm going to change out the wheels. I'm going to get the lights working because I've got an 18 hour drive all the way up to Pennsylvania and I do not want to be broken down on the side of the interstate. Not much metal there. Wow. I cannot believe that was actually holding the boat up. Somehow. Yeah, that wasn't going to last all the way to Pennsylvania, that's for sure. So windy that this thing came loose on the interstate and now I have to take it out completely. I've only made it to about Georgia so still 10 hours to go. I'll show you the inside of the boat when we get a little bit closer. underneath the top so that's out now now we're on to problem number two which is going to become problem number three because the other side is going to go I cheaped out and I only replaced the front tires and the back ones are blown too that one first which I'm currently dealing with and this one is definitely going to go because of all that cracking and warpage. It's all bubbled. So I gotta stop at a tire shop. I should have bought four wheels. I don't know what I was thinking. Here we are on the side of the highway. Love this. Just wonderful. Obviously, I'm unhooking it. 
because I'm at a trailer shop right now and they are going to replace the two back tires. Gonna change both these back tires on both sides. All right, back on the road. Two new tires. They're actually way better tires, six ply. And I had them put them on the blown uh, rims that I had, so now I got two spares. So on the road, and my engine light went out. Isn't that nice? It's fix itself. One of about eight tanks of fuel so far. What a brutal drive. I am feeling it. Shut up. Five more hours to go. Now at a different pump because I just put 98 cents worth of uh, regular gas in the truck so that's good but we're on the diesel pump now <laughs> might have a little extra pep in its step all right guys i'm two minutes down the road so i figured i'd take a quick video and show you the final product the boat's dirty now because i just drove it across the country but here it is. Only radio, VHF, it's all new, everything works. Only diamond stitch interior. So dirty now. Looks so good. What a mess though, it's all dirty. And it's cold. But that's her. I'm gonna go sell it now. Let's see how it goes. Right. Delivered to its new owner. He loves it. I'm paid in full. That's the last time you'll see it. Wow. I'm gonna miss this boat. Damn. Really gonna miss it. What a nice boat. Oh, it'll be on freshwater lakes for the rest of its life. Dropped it off in Pennsylvania. It's gonna have a nice, easy life from here on out. I got a 18 hour drive back home. Well, I'm on my way home. Finally made it to Georgia. I had six hours in the drive left. I've been on the road for over 30 hours. This drive is absolute hell. But uh, getting through it, I'm almost home. I paid $21,250 exactly for that boat. Uh, obviously that was, you know, not really knowing if it was gonna start. I had a pretty good idea that the, mo the motor didn't take any water in. But um, either way, it was a gamble. So all in all, I spent around $10,000 on the boat. The upholstery guy did all the upholstery. Um, he did the top. You know, I polished the whole boat, I serviced the engine, I rewired the whole boat, I installed all the dash and switches and all the equipment, but um, either way, it really didn't take that long. I probably only had 80 hours into it, so I ended up selling the boat, listed it on Marketplace, found a buyer in Pennsylvania. I probably could have found a buyer in Florida, but this guy was super serious, offered me a few grand to transport it, um, to deliver it to his place in Pennsylvania. And I said, what the hell? So uh, I hooked up to it. I put new axles on the trailer, put new wheels, had some problems along the way. But the guy paid me in cash, $52,000. So I probably cleared about 20 grand profit on the boat. $20,000 profits, a big payday for 80 to 100 hours of my time. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. 
hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be putting out more videos like this um, in different videos. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, keep an eye out for the next video. Peace.